Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of bottle gourd crop on pendles. Bottle gourd has different names in different languages. In Hindi, it is called Loki. The botanical name of bottle gourd is Lazenaria scissoraria and it belongs to the family Cucurbitaceae. Bottle gourd is a fence creeper that can also be grown on the ground. It is an annual herbaceous plant which dies at the end of each growing season. The fruits come both in small and large sizes. They come in different shapes, round shapes and also elongated shapes with narrow necks. The fruit is green at first and turns pale brown as and when it ripens. Let us now see the required climatic conditions for the cultivation of bottle goat crop. The crop growth requires plenty of sunlight and it does not grow well in shady areas. The temperature required for optimum production is between 20 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade. Temperatures below 15 degrees centigrade and above 35 degrees centigrade reduces the germination rate. Let us now see the stages involved in the cultivation process of bottle gourd crop. The stages are land preparation, mulching sheet and drip irrigation arrangement, seed sowing, staking and trellising, pest and disease management, flowering and food formation, harvesting and yield. Let us now see how the land is prepared for the cultivation of bottle gourd crop. Bottle gourd grows in a wide range of soils but it thrives best in sandy and loamy soils. The suitable pH range for the cultivation of bottle gourd is between 6.5 to 7.5. A well pulverized soil promotes good soil aeration and enhances root formation. Prepare the field as early as possible to give enough time for the weeds and stubbles of previous crops to decompose. Plough the soil with chisel plough and harrow two to three times alternately at one week's interval. Plough at a depth of 15 to 20 centimeters. Harrow twice to break the clods and level the field. Adding organic manure and farmyard manure makes the soil rich and generates better yield. Once adding farmyard manure to soil is complete, Cover the manure with soil and arrange mulching sheet and drip irrigation system. This makes the land preparation complete. Let us now understand how mulching sheet and drip irrigation system is arranged for the field. The arrangement of a mulching sheet is very important because it is completely impermeable to water and prevents the direct evaporation of moisture from the soil and thus limits the water loss and conserves moisture. Mulch can facilitate fertilizer placement and reduce the loss of plant nutrient through leaching. Mulches can also provide a barrier to soil pathogen and mulches prevent germination of annual weeds from receiving light. Let us now see how drip irrigation system is arranged for the field. Overhead irrigation wets the plants but produces runoff. In contrast, drip irrigation is a much more controlled irrigation method. It works by exposing the roots to a direct supply of water. Drip irrigation system releases water in a slow and steady way and 
a controlled amount of water is supplied to plants at regular intervals. Mulching sheet and drip irrigation arrangement is now over. Let us now see how the seeds are sown. A hectare of field requires 3 to 4 kgs of seeds. Soak the seeds in clean water for 24 hours and treat the seeds with carbendazim to stop soil bone diseases. July and January are suitable months for sowing. Sow the seeds to a depth of 2.5 to 3 cm into the soil, generally 2 to 3 seeds per one space. The distance between seed to seed is 2 feet and the distance between row to row is 2 meters. Irrigate the field with the help of drip irrigation. The seeds will germinate in 7 to 10 days. Bottle gourd is a dicotyledon plant. So, the seedlings possess two round cotyledons in the stage. Bottle gourd utilizes the nutrition in the soil and grows rapidly. Hand weeding is recommended at this stage. Frequent irrigation makes the crop healthy. After this, the entire crop is ready for stocking. Let us now see how the bottle goat crop is stocked. Bottle goat grows very fast and winds along it rapidly within 4 weeks after seed germination. Thereafter, the plant sends out lateral stems. Stocking and trellising will increase bottle goat yield and size reduce fruit rot and make spraying and harvesting easier. Let us now see how pruning helps in the cultivation process of bottle gourd. Bottle gourd develops many side branches that are not productive. To improve yield, remove lateral branches until the runner reaches the top of the trellis. Leave 4 to 6 laterals and cut the top of the main runner to induce early cropping. There are several methods of trellising bottle gourd. Bamboo poles Wood stakes, PVC pipes or other sturdy material can be used to provide support and keep the fruit and foliage off the ground. The trellis is arranged either in a lean-to or a tunnel structure. Horizontal stakes are installed at the top joining all other beds. The stakes support the climbing vines and lateral stems. Strings are used to secure the adjoining stakes. Plantings are easier to manage and more productive when 2 meters high rather than when 1 meter high. String trellises are used for the tunnel type. Plants are grown inside an arc shaped structure made of either PVC or galvanized iron pipe. Plants are supported by bamboo stakes where vines freely climb and reach the top. The vines and lateral stems will then grow along the structure.
Let us now understand pest and disease management that is required for the proper cultivation of bottle gourd crop. Bottle gourd crop can be attacked by pests such as mites, beetles, fruit flies and caterpillars. The major diseases that can attack the crop are powdery mildew and downy mildew. Spraying miticide dicofol will control the attack of mites and spraying of insecticide imidacloprid controls the attacks by aphids. Spraying insecticide malathion helps control the pest attacks by caterpillars. Insecticide dimethoate stops the fruit flies from attacking the bottle gourd crop. Spraying fungicide dinocap controls the powdery mildew disease and chlorothalonil takes over the downy mildew attack on bottle gourd crop. We will now see the flowering and fruit formation stage in the cultivation process of bottle gourd crop. Bottle gourd flowers are monoecious, which means male and female flowers are found on different plant axes of the same plant. Thus, cross pollination is highly favorable. The large white flowers open at night. Female flowers are short stalked, while male flowers have long stalks around 10 cm or longer. The fruits come in both large and small sizes. The shapes vary from round to elongated ones with narrow neck. The fruits are green in color and grow rapidly. When the fruit reaches the approximate weight of 1 kg, it indicates that it is ready for harvesting. We have to harvest the bottle gourd when the fruits are green in color. Otherwise, the fruits turn brown and are not recommended for consumption. Let us now see how to harvest the bottle gourds in our field. The fruits should be harvested when they are still green and in tender stage. Sharp knife can be used to cut the fruits from vine. Delay in harvesting causes the fruit to become very hard and brown in color and such fruits cannot be marketed. Harvesting should be done only after 10 days of insecticide fungicide application. The bottle goats should be washed thoroughly in water before sending to the local market. Average yield of the crop is 100 to 120 quintals per hectare. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of bottle gourd crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorials on the cultivation process of different crops. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.